747 at runway 5 ready for takeoff straight out departure. Boeing Alpha Sierra, 747 cleared for takeoff runway 5 straight out departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 5 Boeing 747. Hey, how's it going? And what you heard just moments ago was indeed the fans on a reference AMD R9-290X. Back in 2013, the 290X had a reputation of probably being the loudest GPU ever created as a result of all that performance they were stuffing into this pretty underwhelming cooler. Even though this thing maxes out at around 95 degrees C, it was dubbed the Titan Killer when launched and for pretty good reason. When released, the 290X was performing on par with Nvidia's $1000 Titan, all while costing almost half of that much, with an MSRP of only $550 when launched. Fast forward to today, and I've managed to pick this card up for a tenth of that price. On Facebook Marketplace, I picked this up for only $50 and was curious to see if this 7 year old flagship still had what it takes to run the latest flight simulator. But before we can get into the benchmarks, this card was definitely used in entire need of a good cleaning. Uh, some fresh thermal paste and about $15 worth of thermal pads for all those memory chips, and this card should be pretty much good to go. Alright, for testing, the system I was using featured a Ryzen 5 1600, 16GB of RAM, and the game was installed on a 512GB SSD. In game, I was using the Sedona landing scenario as a benchmark, and ran it 5 times with each setting and each BIOS setting. Uh, which taking the average of the last three runs just to make sure that I can get some pretty consistent numbers. Now you did hear that correct, the reference model actually came with a dual BIOS switch. One was for a quiet mode and the other was, one was called Uber. Uh, the only real difference between the two is that uh, they both had a targeted fan speed and as you'll see in benchmarks the quiet mode had to significantly drop the core clock in order to reach that fan speed uh, which significantly took a toll on performance all while being not that quiet honestly in your system. Now starting out with the low end settings and at 1080p we get an average of about 52 fps for the quiet mode and flipping the switch to uber we found that the frame rates increased by about 10 fps all around which was a nice bump in uh, performance. At medium settings we're still seeing some pretty decent frame rates with an average of 34 fps for the quiet mode and 40 for uber this is definitely the way to go as medium settings looks phenomenal in this game and in the at least in the uber setting the game plays really smooth as you don't really need a ton of frame rates in this game to enjoy it and finally on the high-end settings we see that we got an average of 25 fps for the quiet setting and 29 fps for the uber setting uh, these are well technically in that 30 fps threshold the 1% and 0.1% lows are pretty low, and especially for the quiet mode, there was some pretty noticeable stuttering, and unfortunately, the game just, you know, did not run very well in these settings. Although, still pretty remarkable given the age of this card. Now, I want to take a moment to show the percentage change increase when switching from the quiet BIOS to the Uber BIOS. The quiet BIOS had pretty bad 1% and 0.1% lows, and honestly felt really inconsistent when playing. Uh, the core clock was pretty much bouncing all around and it was pretty much thermal throttling all the time to keep it under that 45% fan speed and at 95 degrees. And switching to the Uber BIOS, we still saw temperatures as much as 95 degrees C, but we saw a much more consistent core clock and it's pretty much stayed at a, th at a thousand megahertz. Uh, this significantly increased performance and we saw increases as much as 60% with those 1% and 0.1% lows and you'll almost immediately feel that in game as the game just ran a lot smoother. Now if you like the performance you saw today and decided to yourself, hey, I want to pick one of these bad boys up, then I wouldn't blame you. AMD marketed this as a 4K gaming machine like almost 7 years ago, and while they really didn't hit the mark on that aspect, this is still a really solid runner as it still performed really well, especially if you pick one up with like an aftermarket cooler as unfortunately there's a reference model, while fast is extremely loud and pretty much doesn't keep up with the amount of heat this thing generates and definitely lives up to the reputation as possibly being the loudest graphics card ever to be created. So maybe pick up a pair of noise canceling headphones if you do decide to pick up a reference model. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me on this video. If you like what you saw, please feel free to give it a like, subscribe if you want to see some more, and hopefully you have a nice day. Take care now. Bye.